já que eu mando a roupa de trás do coelho Os mais coelhos não me dão bola Life sucks. I say that yesterday I was really happy. But certain things that I do want to change in my life. And sometimes you just need not need, but sometimes something tips the balance. You're okay, and one little thing just even though you're you're feeling amazing and all that one little one little extra problem just makes you crumbling down that extra weight you have to carry on your back that extra like five five um five pounds when you try to do a bench press or whatever. it's it's incredible it's it's amazing how the smallest things can change, can make it crumble down. Damn it. Pause. Okay. Um, I, I feel like I always make a mistake. I always make mistakes. And I have this feeling sometimes I make a mistake and I double down on the mistake. Fucking boiler, I swear to God. I don't care, I don't care. I... Ugh. Nothing goes as planned ever. Ever. Anything that I say, that I don't even know. I know uh, talking about positivity in life. The day before, sometimes it's just, just hard. My room's a fucking mess. My face, you know, my mind, everything's a fucking mess. Relationships a fucking mess. Go to work with a fucking co-worker. Who I hate. Hate is a strong word. It's just I don't want to see it. And it's not something I can avoid seeing either. That person just brings out the worst in me always. I just hate him. I do despise them. And the problem is that that person also has their own issues. And I know them. And I sympathize for that. How can I have sympathy? It's, it's just, I've never been in this particular situation where I hate someone so much. It's not that I wish them well either anymore. But I just... I just wish they just evaporated. I don't want them. And that's also one of the main reasons I didn't want to go back to my old job. And you know, it's not like I can't go to any other job since I don't have a car. And if I do have a car, well, if I do use okay, other forms of transportation, it would make it way more expensive and not viable. But I could possibly, you know, um, um, that would be better for me mentally. But then again, with my current job, I'm able to listen to podcasts, read, and all that. Well, not read, but write. And I'll be able to use my time during work for other stuff. I don't want to switch to a job where I have to completely focus and those eight hours I'm not able to focus on anything at another job. And you know. Ah. Plus, you know, there's a lot of good people in my other jobs. It's just that 
that one person just it's unavoidable I swear it is unavoidable it's not something that I can touch talked about with HR or something like that if that's just thinking You know what I realized? Another topic. You think that you'll change with the New Year's resolution. You think that you'll change with the New Year's of life. You think you'll change when you're already an adult. When 18, yes, now I'll be more mature. 21, yes, I'll be totally different. But you're not, you're not different. You're not different. You're not, obviously. I never assumed that but there's always hope but it's not until the last day of your life where you're in a pitiful state where you truly wished you changed when you turned that 21 when when that new year's resolution hit you truly wish you changed when you're younger i feel like i'll never change that's scary i would prefer to die than to turn it to stay the same. Came to this country looking for a change. Too bad. Doesn't matter where I go, I'm stuck with myself. Stuck with my thoughts. Stuck with my own weaknesses. No matter how much I try, it looks like I cannot overcome certain things. This video is meant the future for either my children or anybody watching. I don't know if I even want anybody to watch. I don't really care that much. I say that but sometimes I pop in the video, see if there's any views, you know. Maybe this resonates with somebody else. I'm not that alone. I said this is an average 21 documentary, but sometimes I don't feel average, I feel inferior. In many ways, the more I think about it, the more I become, and the more I am more inferior. Maybe it's not average 21 documentary, but it's my life. You know, it's scary making this for someone you don't know. It's scary. You don't know how you are in the future. So, maybe I'm a different person in the future. Hopefully, for the best. But if I'm not, then I'm sure uh, I won't have anybody to give this to because I won't. I won't be having kids like this. And I definitely won't be alive that much if I'm continuing to be like this. I'd rather die. I'm not going to kill myself. I'll put that on record. I'm not going to kill myself. But I'd rather go to extreme measures than to stay the same. I'm not going to kill myself, okay? <laughs> I maybe sound a little over dramatic on that regard. But you have to add a little humor in things. Well, I'm very dramatic, very, very dramatic, but I'm not going to kill myself, <laughs> um, hopefully, <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, ah, <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to humor yourself up, you know, I, I, I feel a little better already, just saying that stupid stuff and <laughs> and just waiting it out, you know. You gotta get, you gotta just get everything out. Yeah, I double down on an error. I taught, I like told someone, told that person that I really despise being around them. I'm straight up. And I'm trying to be more of that straight up. And that wasn't very prudent. That isn't the right way to do it. I'm totally sure that isn't the right way to do it. But in a sense, at that moment, I just didn't care. Because that person to me just... 
is in that ca category where you just want to leave them, run away. Just is it possible to be to act perfectly always? The thing with that, I believe. What I don't have many regrets in life. I don't have many. The biggest regrets that I have, I learn from them, and I really, 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 really wish I didn't learn it that way, but I don't regret learning it from that experience. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't regret the message that I got from it. And this pain, I feel like it's something I deserve, so I don't regret it. But I always will regret doing someone wrong when I shouldn't have. And I feel like the fear of when I don't have somebody, when I don't have a friend or something to amend a relationship, like what happens if they die before I truly amend this? Get that horrible sensation that I, and who I am becoming right now, I feel like as of my relationships stand today with my family, with my friends, with my loved ones, with my, my partner, I feel like if they die t today or tomorrow, I, I would truly regret leaving it the way it is. Oh my god, the boiler's gonna sound again. Oh fuck. Ugh. In any case, another day, another day, another life break. Bruh, bruh, bruh. I hate that. I'm trying to be. Who I am. But sometimes you need to downplay or mask who you are in order to cope enough to be able to say it. So it's not that I try to be uningenuous. How do you say that? It's just, it's hard. Okay? I'm sorry. February 2024. February 24, 2024. There you go. Sorry about the boiler. Sorry about the audio. Sorry about the video. Uh, yes. In 2024, we have better technology. I swear to you, this is just me. I am below average in that regard. Please. I have a shitty phone. Well, it's not a shitty phone. It's just that I bought the... You know what I'm going to talk? I don't care. Um, it's not a shitty phone. It's just that I bought the, I bought the, you know what? I'm going to tell that tomorrow. Yeah. All right. See you guys.